Hey all, and I apologize for the really long break that I've taken. Uh, it's been about a month since my last review. The reason is I was looking for houses and I was moving apartments. And now I finally moved, but I don't have internet connection yet. So this video is being filmed pretty much in advance for when I do have internet connection, then I'll upload it. So the wait could go on for quite a bit longer. And this is an unboxing review, which I want to do as I receive these items today. So, the first thing I like to talk about is this. Now this is a bit of a special item to me. Um, for those who don't know, this is the VE Monk by Venture Electronics. Way back in March and April I did a review on these, the originals and the new versions. This is a special edition version called the Espresso Monk. Uh, coffee colored basically. Now the reason this is so special to me is Okay, full disclosure once again, as I have mentioned in the past, I am now affiliated with VE, Venture Electronics. I am looking to be their UK reseller, redistributor, and I have, I'm just waiting for a visa permit to allow me to do that. Then I will register my business and then get them here in the UK for local sale. The reason these are so precious to me, basically, is because I designed them. Lee wanted a coffee-colored monk. He was looking for new monk ideas and he was thinking something that might match his phone. I'm not sure which phone it is, but something coffee-colored. So basically I went through the color palettes and we discussed it a lot and I came up with this choice because he wanted to do a braided monk, much like the monk candy, which I've touched on in an earlier video, but which were very limited edition. And those won't be sold anymore, I believe. So he wanted to do something that was for wider sale. Now this is what I came up with. Now this is, in my view, a bit of a unique thing in the audio world where mostly it seems to be either red and black and snazzy or it tends to be just be black or wooden designs, which I personally, I love all of those options, but I wanted to do something a little more unique. So I came up with this idea. It's to have these dark coffee actual shells now that I'm I'm actually seeing them in person for the first time so I'm just like huh that is they actually did what I asked them to do definitely definitely did now the cable now the cable thing is interesting because the original uh, candy monk cable was a red black and blue cable this is the dark color that should match the shell itself which is something I so it should be a thing. And the second color is like a very, it's like creamy. It's like light coffee, milky coffee. That's how I described it to Lee. <clears throat> and I picked out these colors and put them together. And now I'm holding it in my hand. And also I made sure instead of gray, there would be black connectors and a black splitter and a black connector. Now, this is the 2.5 TRS version. Um, this is for a balanced output. So the, norm, the normal one will have a 3.5 millimeter jack right here. But now that I'm actually seeing this in person, I'm slightly overwhelmed by what I just, that I, you know, helped make this happen. So that's, you know, pretty cool for me. Oh, and also I totally, I said, don't you dare take the red and blue, um, standard foams that come with the usual monks and slap them on these they'll look disgusting on brown so we came up with some new kinds of foam mainly black and white now let's see what I, what comes with this you've got the donut foam black and snowy white so basically it was, it was going to be like more creamish so basically you have the black to match and the cream black matches pretty much everything that's that's the cool thing about black and white i wanted to match it too because it's kind of like you're putting cream on your coffee or or actually not even cream foam that was my mindset going into this and i have heard some praise over the results uh warms my heart to hear that and i hope i can come up with some other cool ideas in the future as I am now, like I said before, affiliated with Venture Electronics. Looking forward to a nice business partnership with them once I can get started up. So this was the Monk Espresso. 
very nice pair of earbuds I'm pretty sure because I love the monks I love the candy and I'm gonna go back and listen to these later but now the other thing I want to unbox this is the own M1S I've taken the plastic off but the actual box I have not opened yet M1S let's see if that focuses yeah so you got a DST 32-bit Balanced portable music player. A digital audio player. Now I've been playing around with the beta of this for a few months now. I personally really like the sound. They have been working some things in the firmware now and then with the interface, which you know I think still needs a little more work, but the sound cannot be denied. It uses a Sabre 9018 uh, chip. It's very clear. It's actually clearer than my Basso. Features wise, it does not have as many features as the Abasso, but it's also in a different price range than the Abasso. DX80 by the way, which I have reviewed before. So my review of this will be coming up, but I have been playing around with this and I do enjoy the sound. It's very lively. That's a good way to put it. It's very lively. It's not treble sharp. It has a very natural sound compared to, um, do if you remember my Super DAC review, it uses the same ESS Sabre chip as that. Much different implementation though, because that is super detailed but it can get really bright and harsh. The on M1S to my ears never got harsh, which is a huge plus towards it. So let's open it up for the first time. So you immediately have some instructions, a little manual, I guess. Yep. Telling you what to do if you want to navigate through this thing. Let's put that to a side. So you have some protectors front. Well, not front. You basically have two protectors right here. And you have the M1S booklet. Now, this is the actual manual. Let's see. Let's just zip through it. Uh-huh. It's in Mandarin. And then you have the English one on this side. Hmm. All right. And you've got some marketing stuff their sales team, their social media, and you have some barcode, no, not barcode, well, scan, scanning, whatever that thing is. Okay, then you have a cable. This is basically the cable you use to plug it into your computer. Um, pretty robust cable. I'm not going to open it up because I have so many like this. And I like to keep a fresh one just in case. Now the actual own itself. And I believe that's it to the box. There's not nothing more in there. So I can just put this down here. Wrapped in plastic is the own M1S. This thing, which should be brand new and pristine, which is the point of these unboxes, unboxings, isn't it? Here we go. Now, the look of this, as you can tell, is very much like, it reminds me of the iPod Slim or the iPod Minis that existed back in the day. Except this is not a scroll wheel. This is just, it has the buttons on it. And the back button and a home button. And on the bottom, you have two outputs. You have a 2.5 millimeter output and you have a 3.5 millimeter output. And both can be figure, uh, configured into balance mode um, through the settings. Actually, no, sorry. The balance mode is a 2.5 millimeter output and the 3.5 millimeter output is standard, but they can both be configured into line out through the settings. That's what I meant, yeah. So, brand new pristine. Oh my gosh, I better put something on this before it gets all stained and fingerprinted. Ugh. So you got the stuff on the back, made in China, serial number, owns logo, you've got the key function things on the side. Yep, this takes an SD card, it goes right there. And that's it, very, very, this is a basic music player with a very nice sound to it. Now I can say that before my review, because like I said, I have been listening to the beta for a long time. So it's basic looking. I mean, not basic in the sense that it's cheap or stupid, no. It's very nice looking, very sleek and minimalistic. Um, the features are also quite minimalistic, but it's all about the sound, and I can appreciate that because the sound, in my view, is quite nice. So that has been my unboxing of these two items. I'm going to get to listening to them now, setting them up and everything. I hope to get my internet back soon, guys, and 
This would be quite funny if I if I actually managed to upload this before my internet is back. Um, because I've been using 4G and they have a cap on them here in the UK which can quickly run out. I've blown through 20 gigabytes in the last few days. It has been insane. I need to get more actually. So thank you for watching and I hope to get back to my reviews. 2017, hopefully going to be a very nice year, very bright year. I have a brand new apartment around me. I can get everything done. I'm going to work on quite a few things and I hope to get quite a few cool things up and running and reviewed for you to watch. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.